This is an off-grid, gravity-powered light that I built for my closet. It works by pulling down on a string that goes through a few pulleys to turn a wheel that's connected to a synchronous motor. As the wheel turns, the synchronous motor generates electricity that powers an LED light. Pulling the string also lifts up a glass bottle filled with water. Then when the string is let go, the bottle acts as a counterweight and turns the wheel in the opposite direction to continue generating electricity as it falls, which gives me about 10 seconds of hands-free lighting so I can grab what I need and get out. I made this because I moved into a house that doesn't have any light fixtures in the closets, so I bought a couple of rechargeable motion sensor lights. And they worked, but when the batteries died, I just kept forgetting to take the LEDs out of the closet to recharge them. So the LEDs just sat there not working, and I finally decided to try and build something to generate electricity and turn on the LEDs when I need them. And I decided to try and do it using stuff I already had, like a synchronous motor that I pulled out of a broken oscillating fan a few years ago. Synchronous motors have an internal gear system to give them more torque, so you don't have to turn them very fast to produce a useful amount of electricity. And they're designed to work whether they're turned clockwise or counterclockwise. So I tried using the synchronous motor as an alternator with a few different bulbs, and it worked with anything that was designed to run on low wattage. But they were all a little too dim or too flickery to replace the lighting from the original LEDs. Although, if you're going for like a creepy effect, connecting a synchronous motor directly to a low wattage Edison bulb is perfect. But I needed a smooth, consistent light. So I ran the synchronous motor's alternating current through a bridge rectifier to convert it to direct current, which these LEDs were originally designed to receive from the battery. And I added some capacitors to the circuit to smooth out the flickery. Then I built the pull stream mechanism by sizing the wheel to the amount of leverage I needed to make the motor shaft turn easily. The addition of the pulleys added some leverage as well. The last step was adding water to the bottle until the weight made the wheel turn at the right speed using just the gravitational energy of the falling weight. So the mechanism, the generator, the bridge rectifier, and the capacitors work together to replace the power provided by a rechargeable lithium ion battery, which is about what you'd get out of a couple of AA or AAA batteries around three volts. And it turns out that it can run other battery powered devices as well, like a children's toy that takes two AA batteries. A bridge rectifier can also make a DC motor light up an LED either way you turn the motor. So this whole mechanism can work with an AC or DC motor as long as everything is geared properly. So anyway, I hope that this explanation is helpful to anyone who might have a similar problem that you want to solve in an incredibly time-consuming way. Thanks. Whoa. Yeah, that was a little too hard. You're very strong. You want to try and put, pull it again? I did it. Yeah. I done.